Hey guys, welcome to a Draw and Paint with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be creating this cute little Coco Cat. So to begin our drawing, I'm going to start by making our little cat's nose. So come to about center of your paper and begin to draw out a small horizontal line. And then you can just start to round as if you're going to make a triangle but with slightly rounded corners. The point of your cat's nose will be facing the bottom of your page and then after you shade in the nose or if you're going to color it later, you can do this now, you will draw down a little vertical line just from that bottom point. Now for this Coco Cat, I'm going to do my eyes a little differently than normal but we're still going to do that basic oval shape. So coming right beside the eyes, I'm going to start by drawing out one oval on the right and then trying our very best, we'll create another oval on the left of about the same size. Then what I'm gonna do instead of a big highlight is I'm just going to make a small circle towards the upper right corner or upper right edge of the eye by just drawing in a little circle. And I'll do this on both eyes and then I'm just gonna shade in the rest of that oval shape. Now when you're all finished your eyes, you can decide how tall of a chocolate bar you want your cat to be. And then once you've decided, you're going to draw a horizontal line that is above the eyes and maybe about as long as from one center to the other of both your eyes. Then from the edge of your horizontal line, we're going to start to angle upwards and we're going to make little triangles at the top for our Coco Cat's ears. Then all you need to do is create that point at the top and begin to bring that line all the way down and past the face. Once again, you can come down as far as you prefer and I'm just going to stop a little bit below the mouth and then we'll go ahead and we'll draw a horizontal line across to close off this part of our drawing. And when I draw this line, I'm kind of keeping it a little bit uneven to sort of give this illusion of that crinkly wrap that might be around your chocolate bar. Then underneath that horizontal line, I'm going to start to draw a second one that's also a little bit wobbly and coming out from maybe the halfway point maybe a little bit past I'm going to just start bringing a little jagged line down and create sort of this uneven rectangle that finishes off the bottom here of our cat's wrapper. I'm also just adding in some broken lines here sort of along the contour the edge of this shape just to sort of give this illusion of texture and shadow. Then coming back up to the ears, I'm going to draw just a small line along the inside edge. And then we're going to start to draw out the segments or the squares of our chocolate bar. So to do that, I'm going to just draw broken squares or rectangular shapes just above the eyes. And you'll see that I'm not going to finish the whole shape. And I just want to sort of emphasize shadow on one or two sides of each chocolate section. And then if you have space, you can do another row. I don't want it to cut right into the face, so I'm just gonna come down below the eyes to do some more little squares. All right, then to finish off the bottom of the wrapper, I'm just gonna come down um, just from the left here. And when I do this, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space along the bottom because I'm going to draw in the cat's feet. If you're using pencil, you can just draw straight across. But what we're going to do for the feet is we're just going to create little semicircles or almost like little muffin tops here and just smooth them across the bottom and then add in two little lines for some toes. And you can do two of these. You can have them close together, far apart, whatever you want. And of course, because it is a little Coco Cat, I'm going to draw in a tail and I'm going to come off the left side. So just creating a curvy line that's sort of coming up along the length of the body, rounding it at the top and then just creating a mirrored or parallel line all the way back to the wrapper. 
Okay, then we can go ahead and draw in our ground line to finish off some details. So just drawing a horizontal line, it doesn't need to be straight from one side of your page to the other. And of course, I always like my ground lines to be a little bit higher than the lowest points on my characters. And now we'll go ahead and give our little Coco Cat a friend. And I think a perfect little friend for a chocolate cat would be a little kiss, especially as we're coming into our Valentine's Day season here. So to create my little kiss, I'm just going to start right at the ground and I'm gonna draw the left side first by creating almost like a little C curve. And as I begin that C, when I get to the top, I'm gonna to curve back and then up. So you can make a little point here and we'll just do an opposite curve the other way. And then we'll create that little tag. So just coming out of that point, you can create a little wavy line and then make a nice flat edge at the top. And we'll give them a little face, so just really simple, two little dots and maybe a little smile right in between. And then I think last but not least, let's have our friends be hanging out outside. So over here on the left, I'm just going to draw up some loose sort of grass blades. So just create some curvy lines, making a point at the top and then bringing it back down to the bottom of your page. And as you can see, I sort of layer them and I have them kind of angled, falling over. Some are taller than the others. So just keep it nice and loose. All right, guys, so coming up, we're going to be doing the painting. So grab your watercolors, any markers that you might have, and let's get started. Okay, guys, so I have sped up the painting portion of this video. If you are interested in my materials that I'm using, I will have descriptions of everything below. So to start off, you're just going to select a brown, any shade of brown that you like, and using a larger brush, or depending on how big your picture is, you're just going to do a light wash of this color all across the top of your cat, the tail, and the feet. Then you can choose whatever color you like for the wrapper. And again, just doing the same thing. We're just going to start with a simple wash of color to get our first layer down. If you wanted to add a little bit of brown in along the edges, that would be great. Kind of like that little melty chocolate that sticks to the inside of the wrapper. And then of course, I'm going to just do a little green ground line here since I did draw some grass and you know, it just seems like the right thing to do so again just picking whatever shade of green you like and just doing a quick little sweep across that bottom line and don't forget if you did draw up some of those grass blades to fill in that green as well then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a thinner brush here so it's just a little bit smaller than what I used for my first wash with a nice fine point and I'm going to use a more saturated brown and I'm going to come along where we drew those lines for the squares of our chocolate bar here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create more shadowing and I'm going to try to leave those square sections a little bit brighter. So just follow along your lines. And you might even want to, with your paint, then go ahead and sort of give an impression of the other sides of those squares with just your paint. Remember that your lines are going to create those really dark shadows there because if you drew them in black, that's a lot darker than brown. So as you can see, I just sort of keep building up the layers and I like to kind of blend out some of my really dark lines. That's just my preference. If you like to have really strong contrast, then you could just paint in a nice saturated line and just let it dry. Remember too that with watercolor, what you see when it's wet is not the way it's going to look when it's dry. Everything will lighten up. 
Then I'm gonna add in a little bit of pink into the ears and just dab some underneath the eyes here. And my paper is a little bit wet, but that's okay because it sort of lets that pink kind of bleed out like your cat is blushing. Next, I'm creating a little bit of shadow under the folds here of the wrapper by just taking in a little bit more of a saturated color of my wrapper and going right underneath those lines. And for my little Hershey kiss, I'm just using a really washed out shade of black. If you have gray, that's great. You could do silver if you have silver paint. And then again, I'm just tapping in a little bit of pink right while it's wet for some little cheeks. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these brush markers. And what's really great about them is that they do act a little bit like watercolor in that you can sort of blend the colors out with just some water. First, I'm going to take some green right along the ground line to just really emphasize some of those shadows. So underneath my Coco Cat here and then just along that top line. And I will also use some underneath my wrapper just in the areas where I want to emphasize any shadows. And then I'm going to take my brown marker here and once again I'm just going to go over where I want those darker shadows to appear along the chocolate bar, maybe along the tail and then just a little bit on his feet. Keep in mind that since we've already painted anywhere where I'm adding sort of these marker lines because the marker is so much more saturated, I'm looking for the shadows that I've sort of already created with my paint. So at this point, you guys can pretty much play around with it as much as you want, add any more details. Um, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of a boost of pink here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, and you can do this with either white paint or if you have like a gel pen like this one, then you can go ahead and use this and just add in some little highlights. So maybe across the nose and anywhere along your chocolate bar that you would want to have sort of a little hint of light and then you'll be all done our cute little coco cat so thank you so much for drawing and painting with me today if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and like the video and until next time for another draw with sandy at the little artistic nook keep making art and keep smiling